the Excel find function looks for one text string within another text string and returns the position number of the first character in the string you searched for. Here's what it looks like. The find function has two required arguments and one optional argument. Here's how it works. One really important thing to remember is that find is case sensitive. So let's say that from the text in cell A1, we want to find the word word. Now, whether we type an uppercase W or a lowercase W matters, and that will determine the result that we get. So let's do the lowercase W first. And we're looking for it in cell A1. We don't need the start number. The start number argument tells us where to start looking, what position number to start searching from. Because we want to search the entire string, we can omit that because the default is to start searching at position number one. So we're looking for word, all lowercase, in cell A1. And the find function says it starts at the 37th character position. So it's found this one, but ignored the one with the uppercase. If we typed the word word with uppercase W, then it would return 11 as the position number. Now, of course, instead of using an explicit text string within our formula, we could have used a cell reference. So we could type the string we want to search for somewhere else. And instead of typing the text itself within double quotes, we could refer to that text string. And of course, when we want to change what we search for, we just go to our input cell. The find function can be combined with other functions to answer practical questions. Like in column A, we have the model year and style number of maybe different types of vehicles. And maybe we want to search for those that are style number two. So we'd start by using our find function. We want to find the text two. And since this is a number, we can either enclose that within double quotes or not because Excel recognizes that it's a number. And of course, we're searching in cell A2. Now we do need the third argument here because we want to ignore the model year and they all start with the number two. So we can skip the year altogether by skipping the first four characters and asking Excel to search starting at the fifth character. And we got a value error here. Why did that happen? We double click. So we got valid responses for some and value errors for the other. The value error is what we get when the character or characters we searched for aren't found in our original text. So maybe we don't like the way this looks and maybe we want a more reader friendly display of our results. So we can tell Excel if this is a number, then automatically our response will be true. And if it isn't a number, it'll say false. And maybe we could upgrade that experience by using an if function. So we can say if this is the logical test, if the calculation here results in a true, then we'll display yes. And if the calculation results in a false, then we want to say no. Close parentheses, hit enter, and copy to the remaining cells. Now we know the ones that are style 2 and the ones that aren't. Ready to learn more about Microsoft Excel? Then check out the full course on GoSkills.com. Click the link in the description.